Guys, in this week's episode of Unstoppable Affiliate TV, we're taking it back and we're going to talk about what is affiliate marketing and the four steps that you need to blow out your commissions. We're going to talk about how you could take your side hustle money and turn it into full-time income on this week's episode of Unstoppable Affiliate TV. Drop it. So this past weekend, I was at a, one of my hobbies is attending open houses with modern architecture. I love modern architecture. I love modern design. And so what I love about the open houses is you could go to $5 million open houses. They, they don't know how much money you have and you, you could, they still treat you with that respect and dignity. I love open houses for that reason. Plus you get to have a, the front row seat to today's design architecture design. So this past weekend, I was at this massive open house. It was a, a, a probably like 7,700 square foot house on two acres. And the house went from this side of your, to this side. That's how long it was. And so we were sitting in the living room. It's a, one of those massive living rooms and they have the square couches. Okay, you know it's a serious house when <laughs> just they have a dedicated living room with a massive couch. And so everybody that was there, we're all sitting around chatting about the house, chatting about what we do. It got to me. Everybody turns to me and they're saying, well, well what, what do you do? What do you do to afford something like this, this house? And so I told them, I said, well, I am a, an affiliate marketer. I sell other people's products. And I got the days, the glaze and the confused look, the deer in the headlights, like, what, what is that? And so I explained to them, affiliate marketing is selling other people's products online. And 100% of the room, they had no clue what affiliate marketing was. They had never heard of it. And it made me think, I've been teaching an on-demand class for the last 10 years. And recently, we've upgraded the training on unstoppableaffiliate.com. And it's an on-demand learning class where you learn about affiliate marketing and you implement at the same time. And that speeds up your results. But it got me thinking, we need to take it back with the Unstoppable Affiliate TV and start explaining from the beginning what affiliate marketing is. Uh, so for, there are lots of people out there who have never heard of it. And so affiliate marketing is selling other people's prop, products and services and getting paid a commission by sending uh, clicks and by send, if they take actions. And especially if they buy anything, you get a commission. And it's all done automatically. For example, you could sign up for an affiliate program. At the bottom of every page there, you look for a, a partners or an affiliate link or an affiliate program to and get that information on how much they're willing to pay. Amazon usually pays about 10%. If I refer anybody to Amazon through my link, they pay about 10% of whatever purchase. And what I love about Amazon is if you refer people to Amazon, within 24 hours, if they buy anything within 24 hours, you still get that commission, whatever they buy. Amazon is one of the biggest affiliate programs out there, but mostly every merchant online has an affiliate program, okay? But there's ways to do it the right way, okay? And so I want you to start thinking about these four areas. When you start affiliate marketing, you know exactly what you're doing and you have a game plan for taking action. The first one, is you want to choose a focus, okay? I want you to narrow your focus. A lot of the times when affiliate marketers get involved with something, it's because so-and-so told them about the money that they're making with affiliate marketing. They saw a guru or a heavy hitter making a certain amount of money. And then they go, oh, I can do exactly what they're doing. How easy is that? And then they, maybe they try to duplicate it, try to knock it off, and they realize it's not so easy because that's not their passion. Their passion is not the same as the guru or the heavy hitter. And the guru and the heavy hitter have two things that you don't have. Number one, check their earnings. You will see that they have a half a million dollar marketing team. So they spend a half a million dollars on a marketing team to create the content, to SEO the content, and to advertise the content. 
That's number one that you most solopreneurs don't have. Number two, they also have a six-figure advertising budget, which most people don't have. So all of a sudden, you realize, wait a minute, it's not that it's not as easy as it looks, okay? Because there's a whole different side of it that people aren't telling you about, okay? So the first step that you would want to do is narrow your focus to something that you enjoy, okay? I'm going to show you an example of what that means is right now, if you go to like a, this review site, okay, it's, uh, it's idownloadblog.com, okay? This is a review site on technology, iPhones, iPads, uh, Apple TVs, okay? You can see right here that they review all of these techs. This site's getting a lot of traffic, okay? I'm going to show you what they could do to triple, quadruple their earnings with just one little feature here. Okay, they're getting their money here through the ad sets. Okay, what they've done is narrowed their focus, one focus to their passion. They love technology. Okay, so they love iPhones, they love iPads, Apples. And so now they write in everything about Apple, everything about the new latest and greatest technology, they're gonna write about. Okay, and then they're gonna create these little review videos here. iPad iPhone Max review, my personal favorite. Okay, so now this is a six minute review on this, and then they go down, and then you'll see another review. Okay, so two reviews, one website here. Okay, they're getting AdSense. If you click here or here, they're getting AdSense uh, money. However, they could sign up with an Amazon affiliate link, or a Best Buy affiliate link, or an eBay affiliate link. Okay, right below this video, they could put a massive red button that says check out the discounted iPhones or click here to check out the sale price of this iPhone. Then when all this traffic that they're getting, when they click on that iPhone, with if, they, if they buy on Amazon within that 24 hour period, anything that they buy, this person's gonna get a commission on, okay? That is the one thing that a lot of, reviewers like this one could add to increase the revenue on their blog, okay? Right now, they have an AdSense site. I believe that once they start putting the affiliate link, the affiliate large red buttons underneath each video on every one of these reviews, that affiliate money will overshadow and overtake any AdSense money that will come in from this particular site, okay? But this first step is to narrow your focus, and his videos are very well done, okay? But you can do that, and you just get better over time, okay? You turn on your video, you start talking about your reviews, you start talking about, you demo the product, you start talking about the price and the features and what you get with it and why you like it right? Then, then you take that big call to action and boom, when any, anybody buys, you get that commission, okay? Over time, you will get where it looks this great, okay? These, a second example that I want to show you is Nerd Wallet, okay? This is a cost per, usually a cost per lead or a cost per action. All of these sites, they've narrowed their focus to money, credit, credit cards, loans, uh, and so you'll see on their credit cards, these are all of the credit card programs that they're talking about. Those are CPA offers. They get paid a per off, per action, per lead, per click, per sign up. And usually it's $50 to $100 per customer that they send to these credit cards. Okay. As NerdWallet grew and grows, millions of people start click hitting on this site. Okay. As people start signing up, this starts, those 50 and those hundreds and those $200 really start adding up over time. And now this is a seven, it's probably an eight figure website. And then the website is valued probably at hundred, two hundred million dollars all because of affiliate marketing. Okay. Um, let me give you another example. Pinterest is a, an advanced strategy of affiliate marketing where users generate the content. 
in the beginning, Pinterest included their affiliate links to every product that people were recommending. People started getting mad that Pinterest were stealing their affiliate marketing commissions without their permission. Like, listen, I, I recommended that. I should get paid. So Pinterest lost, I think, that lawsuit and they started changing up their business model. Okay? But, so they, they changed their business model, but it started out as a user-generated affiliate program. Similar to this one, kit.com. Kit.com is where if you're a product creator, a creator, you can set up a free channel called kit.com. You could showcase your talent and your work. And it's a community of creators. And then what you do is you share the reviews of all of the tools and gadgets and cameras and the microphones and everything that you use in your creation business. Okay, whenever you, your kit gets discovered in kit.com, then you, uh, if anybody buys, you get that commission. Okay, so kit.com is a free platform where you can show off your tools that you use, and then if anybody buys, then you get that commission. This is an advanced strategy of, of affiliate marketing. Because you have two levels of affiliate marketing, okay? People can share their tools, and get paid, but guess what? The actual site, kit.com, is the advanced person. They collect any any affiliate commissions that uh, people don't fill in, okay? Just another layer to the affiliate marketing. I've promoted uh, thousands and thousands of products, sold over $50 million worth, I've generated that much in commissions, but occasionally I'll miss something. I'll miss like a weird affiliate program where there's like a two tier or something like that and get it wrong. But more than, more than often, I'll get it right in terms of the products that you want to promote. High quality products with good reviews that you can find usually are on Amazon. You can, that's the easiest one of them all. And so if you are looking to narrow your focus to one niche, one topic of interest, the, one of the easiest ways to do that is go look at the affiliate marketplaces like clickbank.com. I'm not saying promote a clickbank product. I'm actually, we're actually trying to narrow our focus. So if you go to the categories here, this is where you can see you, what you're interested in. Are you interested in computers and the internet or technology or uh, games or green products or health and fitness or home and garden or languages, parenting, self-help, software. See, these are all your what you want to narrow your focus on. And then you want to choose a program wisely based on reviews, based on what other people are saying about it. Okay, if, it's, if it passes the sniff test, then that you would promote programs uh, that are within your focus. Okay, you're going to see other people make a lot of money with affiliate marketing, but if it doesn't fit within your focus, it's not part of your particular, what you would uh, kind of, what you would promote. And so then three, you want to use the tools wisely. We have affiliate marketing tools where you can start with push button software. You start with WordPress. You start with free YouTube, free Facebook, free Facebook groups. The free stuff is the most resourceful the people are with the free stuff. Those people are making a lot of commissions because they're start, starting groups around their focus. Okay, so if you uh, use your tools wisely. For example, when you sign up for an affiliate program, they're going to give you a link. Okay, you can set that up on your focused website. You, and then use the free tools like Pretty Links. Use the free tools like Genius Links. Okay, those are just plugins that sit on your WordPress. Then you, they generate a pretty link where it is cloaked on your domain name. Okay, so when people click on it, this, number one, w these tools will track your link. It will make it look pretty where it doesn't look like an affiliate link. And then you will be able to have a dashboard where you see all your links, you keep all your links organized. You can even group them by whatever it is. Okay, so if you have a, a hosting companies that you're promoting, you can group them by hosting companies. If you have internet marketing companies, you can have all of the autoresponders together. You can group them and Genius Link and Pretty Link will help you do that. 
What I like about Pretty Link, and I think Genius Links does it too, is that Pretty Links will actually, like if you have a big blog and you can install Pretty Links, and let's say that you have a, a new affiliate program that just came out with, um, let's say called email marketing, and you have about 10 posts on email marketing, you can put a keyword, email marketing, and it automatically replaces those keywords throughout your whole entire blog. So when something, somebody clicks email marketing, the text email marketing, and it lands on that new link you just told it. Okay, and you can keep doing that. As new products come out, as new services come out, some of the old services get dropped off, just replace it with the new ones that actually you recommend. So Pretty Links does that. And what I like about Genius Link is that it does a, Genius Link has a thing called localization, where as you're doing your product reviews, as you're doing your product demonstrations, um, when people click on, on it, if they're located in the UK, that localization, it would that Genius Link will say, see that, okay, this is the language, this is the location, we're gonna redirect you to the right place. So now, you, no matter who's looking at your product review all over the world, then Genius Link will send it to the right channel. It'll, uh, the Amazon or the eBay, or it'll send it to the right UK, Germany, the right country. Right, so that way, if they purchase, you get that commission, no matter what country they're located in. Okay, that's number three. You have to use these tools wisely, and then four, and then last but not least, what you do is you create quality content. Like I said before, if you when you start to do your reviews, okay, you will see that it is challenging. The more you do the better you get. And the more action you take, the more energy it fuels you. Action fuels energy, okay? And then the more you do, it actually, you'll start to see that your even your speaking voice actually becomes better. You get so much better at it, and you start learning all those little shortcuts and tricks to be, be more efficient, okay? So you, you start with what you can do, and then it improves over time, okay? But then you, you use your tools wisely. You use your YouTubes, your free YouTubes, your free Facebooks, your free, your free tools. Pretty Links is free. And then that way, whenever you're choosing your program wisely, you choose it around the focus that you want to do. A lot of people don't focus their attention. They're all over the board with their particular website. Focus your energy on one topic and then blow that out the water. So that way you are now dominant for that one topic and you everybody that searches for that one topic, no matter what keyword they're searching for, your reviews, your demonstrations, your blog articles comes up and you get paid those affiliate commissions, okay? So what we're gonna do, if you want a on-demand learning, make sure you grab the blueprint, Unstoppable Affiliate. Okay, that's the blueprint where you learn and implement at the same time. Then three, what we're going to do is we're going to break this series down. So that way you get the demonstrations of each, how to find your focus. Some of the, what are the most profitable focused? Um, what are the best passive income affiliate programs out there? What are the best methods? Uh, how to make money with zero money? <laughs> uh, some of the five best affiliate strategies, some of the five worst affiliate strategies, some of those five mistakes that new affiliates make, and some of the disclosures. We're going to break these all down into seven-minute chunks so that way you can digest the information quickly and then you can always come back to whichever section that you want. That's what we're going to do in Unstoppable Affiliate TV. We're going to break this down into the next what is affiliate marketing and then this whole series is going to break it all down for you if you have any questions drop them down and if you like the content and you want to get notified smash that subscribe button and give me a thumbs up okay if you have any questions drop them down below and we'll talk about it till then i'll see you on the next unstoppable affiliate tv let's get started